Welcome to Pregnancy Week 32. I am 32 weeks and one day pregnant. And um, I really just don't have much to report on this week. Um, as far as symptoms go, I don't have any new symptoms except for her um, movements are starting to get a lot more uncomfortable. It feels like she's just stretching from like She's like taking her hands and pushing one way and then taking her feet and pushing the other way like at the same time like stretching inside of me. And it's a little uncomfortable. It's definitely not as many kicks and punches as it used to be. It's more like stretching and those type of movements. And I'm also getting a lot more Braxton Hicks contractions which are a little uncomfortable because they like squeeze <laughs> squeeze my stomach really tight and which can be a little uncomfortable um, it happens a lot when I'm doing a lot of walking I'm also getting up in the middle of the night to pee a little bit more it's still not every night but um, it's still pretty frequently I have to get up once to go pee during the middle of the night which really stinks and I'm also peeing a lot more in the during the day and it's definitely noticeable when we go like um, out for all day trips like this past week I went to the Children's Museum with Thomas and Jaden and we were out all day and I just it was ridiculous how many times I had to stop and go to a bathroom and then yesterday we went to I went to an amusement park with my sister who has a daughter that's three weeks older than Jaden, so they are the same age. And we were gone all day, and I had to pee a lot then, too. Which also, uh, that was yesterday. So yesterday was the first day in months that I actually felt really sick and nauseous. We were at the amusement park for eight hours. Um, and it's pretty big, and walking around and everything. And the only thing I had in those eight hours to eat was popcorn and cotton candy. So not a very smart choices on my part, but amusement park, the food there is so ridiculously expensive that I just went without and um, just kind of snacked on popcorn and cotton candy that the kids had. And I wasn't really hungry, really. I didn't feel hungry, but then when I got home that evening, I felt started feeling extremely nauseous and not feeling good at all because I hadn't ate anything for that long. So apparently if I go that long without eating actual real food, I will still get nauseous. But um, yeah, so I've learned my lesson and I won't go eight hours without eating a proper meal again while being pregnant anyways. Before I could do it all the time, but not when I'm pregnant. It made me feel really, really bad, and I ended up going to bed early that night because I was just feeling awful. But thankfully, I started. I felt better as soon as I woke up the next morning. Um, I haven't had my doctor's appointment yet. For some reason, I thought I went this week, but I actually go Monday, so I will have a doctor's appointment on Monday. And um, I'm kind of nervous to see how much weight I've gained. But, other than that, I've really been working on getting buying things off the baby list that I have, and it's getting shorter, so that's nice. Feel always feels so good when I can mark something off the baby list, and I'll show you some of the things that I got this week here in a second. Alright, I think that's it for this week. Kind of boring week, but I did get some pretty exciting baby buys, so I'm going to show those in a second. And um, I start back my fifth year of college on Monday, so that is crazy. Um, yes, so I will graduate with my bachelor's in education in May, so I start my final year here Monday until obviously I had to go back and get my master's, but my last year for my bachelor's, I start on Monday. And I'm a little nervous about that, but um, I am so ready to be done with college. So um, my life's about to get really hectic. So I expect, you know, I only have 
eight weeks, eight-ish weeks left until she gets here. And um, starting Monday, that time is going to fly because I'm going to be back in school. So it's getting down to crunch time. I really need to start getting things ready for this baby and getting things all in order. All right, let's do a belly shot. All right, so I'm in. Careful, you're, you're moving the camera. Please stop. Okay. All right, here it is. I'm in my pajamas, so I've got pajamas on. So here is the stomach at 32 weeks. Officially less than two months until my due date. So here are my baby buys for this week. So I did get some pretty exciting stuff. Um, we did make a big purchase this week, and that was the diaper bag. So I already did a diaper bag overview of this, a diaper bag video overview of this diaper bag. But um, just in case you didn't see that, we went with the Jujube BFF diaper bag. So I bought her diaper bag this week, so that's really exciting. And I pretty much have everything that I need for her diaper bag purchased. Uh, let me finish this video. And I pretty much have almost everything I need for, for her diaper bag. Um, there's a couple more things I need to get, but as soon as I get them, I will show you what's in her diaper bag. But it's all packed and like has all and pretty much ready to go. There's just a couple more things I need to add to it. So there's that. And if you want to see um, the features of the diaper bags and watch my other video. I bought this little organizer which has her hospital outfits in it. I bought it at Walmart in the cosmetic aisle with all like the Wal the um, cosmetic bags. And um, it came in like a set with like three other bags. But um, this is the size that I needed for the diaper bag. So this has her, this is going to carry her change of clothes in it at all times. So I bought that for the diaper bag. Uh, while I was at Walmart, I also I grabbed these pack of socks. They don't look like they're going to stay on feet very well. Judging, just judging by what they look like. But they're six pair and they were on clearance for $3. So... So I just went ahead and picked them up anyway since they were so cheap. Let's get those. I also got a bottle brush while I was at Walmart. Bottle and nipple brush. And then I also got some gas drops. Some saline drops. And then I bought two Grovias newborn diapers, which um, if you guys have been f watching all my videos, you know that I had two of the old style Grovias and then they came out with this new style. So I sold my two old styles so I could buy two new style and these are both used. I got one in the woodland print and one in the peacock print. And then from Zoo Lily, I finally got my diapers from Zoo Lily. I got three size small Charlie Banana diapers and Charlie Banana are my favorite brand pulling out to show you what they look like they're just a pocket diaper and they come with two inserts so got three size small of those and then during World Breastfeeding Week um, Bamboobies were having their regular breast pads um, they were selling them for one cent, and all you had to do was pay $3.95 shipping. So I got this pair of Bamboobies for $3.96, which is really cheap. So I got two breast pads. And this is what they look like. 
So there are my baby buys for this week.